just say? He said there's a storm coming in. What's going on, Scallywags? Welcome back to another episode of Scallywag Nation. This is Michael Turner. Here we're going to be returning with our Walking Dead season finale. The episode is titled The Storm. Storm's coming. And I'm going to do a celebratory horn chug because it's the season finale. Storm's coming. And we lost a lot of people, so I'm going to pour one out for my homies, but I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to pour it out in my mouth. And uh, so, yeah, as you can tell, I'm pouring my... Uh, full Guinness bottle into this horn. I'm gonna give it a little chug for all those that we lost this week. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. Skull, my friends. That's how we do it. That's how we celebrate a season finale. Storm's coming. Gotta clean myself off from all that delicious Guinness that I just destroyed. Alright, welcome back guys. As I said before, this is the season finale. Episode 16 of The Walking Dead. The episode is titled The Storm. There's a storm coming, buddy. There's a storm coming. The storm's coming. <laughs> a storm's coming. You always hear the uh, the old farts that uh, predict a... Uh, a, a shift in the story arc, and the storm is here. And it involves snow. Last episode, we had our infamous red wedding scene of The Walking Dead. It was crazy. Lost 10 of our survivors. <clears throat> a couple people that we hardly know. Uh, a couple people that we just, le uh, that we just started learning uh, who they were. Uh, and three people that we have that have been around for a while, except for Henry, uh, at least the new actor. But anyway, so we had all that craziness go on. Um, I started thinking about this, and I've actually talked to a few people about this in the comments, um, because I know Chandler Riggs wanted to leave, and I know that the <clears throat> and I know that Chandler Riggs wanted to leave, and I know with the uh, the imminent arrival of the Whisperers and them knowing that the Whisperers were going to show up. And I don't understand why they couldn't wait just a few episodes to kill off Carl. And because I can just imagine the blow that we would have taken had Carl's head been on one of those pikes. And it would have been a way more epic death than any of the deaths that we got last week. Or any of the deaths, period, in The Walking Dead. Because to me, Carl's death was a little... Uh, it wasn't abrupt, you know, like the, I mean, I guess like the initial shock of him being bit was, uh, um, was shocking, but then they had the, we had this, you know, however many months, you know, six month delay of, uh, of Carl's, you know, we, we all knew that he was going to die. So we all mentally prepared for Carl's death. Um, but then we had the episode that arrived and it was just a slow progression. You know, it's like the entire episode was dedicated to saying goodbye to Carl and uh, it just kind of lessened the blow of uh, losing Carl. Um, so we'd already mourned the death of Carl before he even died. So it's just like the shock factor wasn't there. Um, but I could imagine if Carl's head had been on that, on that pike, dude, people would have lost their mind because that would have been unpredictable completely. Uh, so anyway, that would have been wild. But it didn't happen. We got Henry, Tara, and Enid. And then all the other ones, all the, you know, the seven more. But anyway, so that was that big twist there. Um, wasn't a twist. It was, I mean, I guess for people that hadn't read the comics, it was a twist. But everybody knew it was coming. 
Um, I was happy that they didn't kill off Ezekiel. I'm hoping they don't do it in the season finale here. Um, to postpone his death for the season finale, that would be dumb. Um, so, yeah, I hope he survives. And we all know Carol's going to be losing her mind right now. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so we got that. And we got, obviously, Lydia, a story arc. Um, and then we got Negan. I'm excited to see freaking Negan roll up in here. So we'll see if they uh, they utilize his skills in a uh, in uh, savagery. So um, I'm really hoping that happens because uh, everybody knows that I'm a massive fan of Negan. Uh, he's my boy, my boy Blue. You're my boy Blue. You're my boy. But <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm excited to see where. Uh, you know where where the story goes. Uh, we got Snow for the first time. Uh, we got Daryl basically taking Lydia under his wing. Essentially, I guess he uh, I guess she kind of reminds him of of himself whenever he was being raised by um, by uh, abusive parents and a brother. I guess. Um, so I'm interested to see where that story arc goes. Um, uh, I'm curious to see what they do with Michonne because I know she's only got a couple more episodes left. If that, I hope it's. I hope it's uh, to go to another show, but I'd be completely okay if she dies, you know, um, uh, just because I, I kind of want, you know, this may sound savage, but I, I kind of want one of the, one of our main characters, one of our main main characters to go down this episode. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see whether it be Michonne, Carol, Daryl, um, I mean, Lydia too, uh, Ezekiel to me would be a little too predictable, so I hope to God it's not him. Uh, but it probably is. If we're going to lose anybody, it's probably going to be Zeke. Um, but, yeah. And it better not be Negan or I'm coming after you, Walking Dead. I'm coming after you so hard. But, anyway, uh, that's too that's too much talking already, guys. I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this episode. And go ahead and smash that uh, subscribe button before you uh, click off this video. And go ahead and leave some comments. And let's have some uh, Talking Dead ourselves in my uh, humble abode. And, uh, yeah, we can uh, have a little romantic sit-down in my bed, you and I. But, anyway, let's do this. Freaking Walking Dead. Alright, guys, I had to lose the shades, because uh, you can't watch Walking Dead with some shades on. It's already too dark. And we can't fix it. I kept trying to hold on. We did. Things fall apart. Fall of the kingdom. By his rage. There's no one when to keep fighting. No one when it's over. Carol, man, she is not going to be feeling good. I feel like this is going to be a... This might be a dynamic that it's shifts Ezekiel and Carol apart. So dumb. Well, They're like extra cautious about the walkers now. Is that them? The people watching us now, huh? Oh god, Alden. Well, we followed their rules. Have they done enough to us? Hi. To lay off. 
Oh God. Oh no, I didn't even think about Alden losing his mind on Lydia. Dang man, look at that animatronic. Good stuff right there, man. You see me with me. No dang. You. Oh. We, we don't need all that jealousy rolling in with Zeke now. We don't need all that. Mm -mm. We can't leave Negan. He'll freeze down there. <laughs> That's right. Have to let him out. Yes. It makes me so happy. Like I don't think he does now. He is the reason I kept watching The Walking Dead whenever it had its little slumber fest. But baby, once he gets out. Take off, baby. Don't take off. Man, Lydia knows her tactics. We'll catch up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a talk with uh, old Daryl. Don't be touching my woman. Dang, look at that. That's awesome. Are you kidding me right now? You think that's what Carol wants? Carol wants the same thing I do. To hold our son again. What we lost. Zeke, what are you doing, bro? Like, Daryl's like the brother. After everything, you, you think you could give me that? You best step back, Zeke. Dang, man, I love you, dude, but... You done, lose, you done lost your mind, bro. Dang. Lydia, what are you doing? Kind of looks like a... Like a zombie torment. have it bite you, you dumb piece of shh. Daryl, get your ass over here. Come on. Pull her ass off. She's being a dumb ass. The Carol's like, do it. Dang, man. Our, <laughs> Our people's losing their minds right now. Boy. And it still feels like a party. <laughs> Never been party from hell. But I mean, we've got ourselves this hot little love quadrangle here to entertain <laughs> us. That's right. It's like what does Dr. Polyamory have to say about this? <laughs>much for asking. This is Dr. Pony Emery and I'm actually going to show you guys why it's important to bring humor to the situation of polyamory. <laughs> so here we have a chart, okay? This is our Walking Dead polyamory chart and obviously we have Rosita, Eugene, the baby, Gabriel, Zadik, and now we have Negan who's bringing humor to the situation and he's making everybody laugh about what's the situation going on in uh, I think it's Hilltop, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's the kingdom, maybe it's Alexandria. I can't remember, but anyway, so I think that Negan is doing a great job of bringing humor to the situation because it can be incredibly difficult and sometimes even awkward, especially when you aren't the one in the relationship. I mean, he calls it a quadrangle for crying out loud, which to me is hilarious. <laughs> I say, keep it up, Negan, and maybe one day the entire community will support and practice polyamory. I mean, for crying out loud, it's the end of the world, <laughs> you know? I mean... 
<laughs> the entire human race depends on everyone doing their part in procreation. Two thumbs up. I mean, two thumbs up. Stop saying it. So, that's it. This has been an episode of Dr. Polly Amory. Back to you, Scallywag Nation. kind of begs the question, you ever wonder what the hell is going on in there when she has her appointments? Dang. You could try to be a little less predictable. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts, Dave, truly. You know, we're all grown-ups here, and none of us would ever let that ruin the long-standing friendships and mutual respect we have. You know what, you're right. That is a very mature attitude, father. Not the father. <laughs> Dang, man, talking that shit right now. Is that unpredictable oh. enough for you? You got a little laugh out of him. <laughs> Dang, man, they're all going to defend me when they come back. Yeah, what, what are you, hey, what are you waiting for, girl? You still worried about that month? Man, Eugene taking charge? All right, all right, you? Get it, brother. Kind of give on, giving off that, uh, you know, 30 days of night vibe right now. You can't take horses and wagons across the ice. They'll have to go by foot. That's like an yes. interesting threat. It's risky. You know? But we're only like not knowing if they're, like, the being watched and, like, and in plain sight, you know? Just make these roads impassable. Some cool freaking shots, man. It's reminding me a lot of Game of Thrones at times. Yeah, like our. I'd like to know what the whispers are doing in the snow right now. Like, are they just walking around, like, just getting frozen? Are they, are they hunkered down? Like, don't make no sense. Oh man, did you hear the dogs? You're gonna run off. <laughs> Judith, don't. <laughs> Idiot. Come on, Judith. Negan's gonna go after. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Well, now we know how he gets his redemption. It's kind of creepy, you're not gonna lie. Man, the score right now is incredible. I like, like just the intense, like, movement of the sounds. I don't know, like, it's really, really good stuff. Whatever key they're using is prime. Hey, where's Lydia? Come on, I'm gonna Lydia. Go find her and get Idiot. Her to cross. Carol, right what are back. you? What? Oh my God. All right, let's move. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I say they gotta be hunkered down, man. There ain't no way they're walking around like this. Wonder if they're gonna like roll up on their camp, like an underground camp or something. It's gonna make everything better, but it's not gonna change shit. Watch your language, girl. We're careful to wash your mouth out with soap. They're not gonna want me back. If they hadn't taken me in to begin with, all those people would still be alive. Preach, girl. I know. I know. Your son's dead because of me. Preach. We know you got that plot armor, Daryl. Who's gonna save Daryl today? Oh, 
Uh, here we go. Bloom, bloom. Please, Carol. Everything's gonna be better when I'm gone. Shut up, Lydia. We don't. We don't got past it. Henry's dead. Come on. You here? Time to move on. What they do is just bah, she just does it. He's messed up, dude. I'm too weak. That's so Alpha talking. <laughs> Tell her. Carol's gonna take her in now. All right. All right. There you go. Do it for Henry. Henry doesn't want you guys to be fighting. All right, Negan. Come on, man. Be the hero that you are. We all know you can be. Man, my man. My man, Nene. What up, Nene? Man, I'm getting a little teary-eyed, man. Don't judge me. Are you okay? You gonna get frostbit, girl. Get your ass back home. Oh, God. That <laughs> a boy, Negan, my man. Yes. <laughs> they got their scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, ain't no way the freaking whispers around, man. Yeah, makes sense. I was gonna be pissed if they were just hanging out, zombieing around. Oh, damn, we got. Glenn, Herschel. Man, that was a cool man, come on. Like our new kingdom on its hilltop. Who painted those? Hey, if we call it King Top, maybe we can make that a thing. King Top. <laughs> what are you doing, Carol? Shut up. Are you kidding me right now? That's messed up, dude. That should bring you together. Not divide you, man. Come on. I think they about to see Negan roaming about. All hell is about to break loose. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got some freaking Rick J. Little Rick James. All right, all right. So my theory is wrong. He's freaking alive. Little RJ. How often do we see this man freaking playing around and smiling? And... You never see this. Lydia smiling, everybody smiling, man. That's what's up. Oh shoot. Well, look who's here. Alright. All right. There we go. Oh god dang Tom. Just slipped my throat open. Hmm. So this, hell, this ain't nothing. Here we go. Here we go. A little, a little sit down with Negan. That's what's up. It's just that no one ever thinks that they're the evil one. Yes. Someone finally said it on The Walking Dead. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the, the whispers. Our families to start. They're about to massacre another 
We're able to make it through this weather of our discontent. When the snow melts, they get a mask for the hilltop. Who knows what glorious summer may bring? Maybe you can even go back home to the kingdom someday. Man, Ezekiel's gonna die. Just because we left our house doesn't mean we lost our home. Roger that. I can't get my home right now. I my gets away. Over now. Bro. Over now. If Ezekiel's crew gets massacred, Carol is gonna lose her shit. For real. Oh my god. What's going on? About to hear Rick? That was the season nine finale of The Walking Dead. Stick around, we're gonna break everything down with Angela Kang and Liz McBride right after a special look at Killing Eve. Please don't go Are anywhere. Are you kidding me right now? And now, for the first time on the finale of the. You know. Well, there you have it, guys. There's uh, the season finale of season nine of The Walking Dead. Uh, it was a good one. A uh, little anticlimactic. Uh, not really. Uh, it was just basically them going from the kingdom to Hilltop or Alexandria. And getting split up, and I don't know, a little bit of, I don't know why that didn't feel like a season finale at all, dude. That that felt like an episode one kind of thing, but, um, but yeah, I mean, they should have just moved that. They should have, I don't know, they should they should have moved some stuff around and had less episode as a season finale, unless something big happened at the end here, but nothing did. So, I guess the only big thing was the radio, and maybe it was a Commonwealth, maybe it was uh, something else, something bigger, something not bigger. I don't know. But clearly, Alpha's planning something. Uh, we don't know exactly what it is, but uh, whatever it whatever it is, it's going to be big. And if I had to guess, she's going to end up murdering uh, probably Ezekiel and his whole civilization, wherever he is, whether it be I think he's at Hilltop. So I uh, hope that's not the case. But it looks like that's the way the looks like that might be where they're going. Um, so yeah, we had our Lydia Carol um, come to Jesus moment and. They, uh, yeah, they kind of came to, came to a, uh, an understanding and, you know, they like each other now, I guess. Um, so, uh, I guess, you know, Henry definitely would not want anything else but what's happening now. So, when it comes to those two at least. But, anyway. Um, so yeah, that was a, I mean, that was a good episode. Like I said, it just did not feel like it should have been the season finale. Um, definitely felt like it should have been more, uh, season one. Or not season one. It should have been an episode one, uh, of the next season, but... You know, it is what it is. That's, I'm curious. Maybe they just wanted to... Yeah, like I said, it seems like they were just going to have one episode of the snow because it looked like with the Alpha that the snow was disappearing, if not already disappeared. So we might not ever see snow again. I don't know. But, yeah, that was that was weird. Um, but, anyway, um, yeah, there wasn't really much to react to, unfortunately, especially after the freaking climax of last episode. Uh, it was kind of underwhelming in a way. Um, but... I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, I mean, it was, it got a, I mean, it showed a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a rift between, uh, you know, Ezekiel and, and uh, Daryl and Carol. And obviously we got the, I guess it was somewhat of a divorce, but I don't know. We'll see where that goes. But yeah, there's not much to react to after that. That's, this is the first time that I've been like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I almost feel like I would have enjoyed uh, another uh, cliffhanger, you know, I guess the cliffhanger was the, the radio, but, um, yeah, that was just, uh, that was underwhelming for me. I don't know. There's <laughs> not, not much else to say about that. But so, I mean, if I had to give the episode, um, the, I mean, the score was beautiful. Um, the shots were phenomenal, uh, from a filmmaker standpoint, it was, uh, it was beautiful, just a beautiful episode. But, um, as far as like story progression, um, I feel like they could have told that story a whole lot um, a whole lot easier. So, um, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm just <laughs> kind of at a loss for words because yeah, I just don't know what to think about that. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and rate it. Um, uh, so if I had to rate this episode, it would be a two out of five Flintlock pistols. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Scallywag Nation. 
The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll be also posting a um, an next Vikings episode. <laughs> excited about that one um and uh yeah let's freaking let's push through vikings now now that walking dead is in its interim stage and i definitely need to push through uh fear the walking dead i need to figure out where to uh, watch if you, any of you guys know where to watch season four of uh fear the walking dead let me know because i need to watch it and get caught up um to that yeah because I, I i mean I, I enjoyed um i enjoyed the new cast members on fear the walking dead and i loved the you know, the transference of, of Morgan. I love the dynamic there. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy uh, the Fear of the Walking Dead, especially after the third season. It definitely picked up. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike if you guys disliked it. And let me know in the comments what you guys disliked and liked. And if you guys want to discuss the dead, let me know in the comments and we'll discuss. I'll pretty much reply to everybody in the comments. You know, I, I pretty much try to you know, stay on top of that. So I don't get behind with comments. So you'll almost get a response from me immediately. And if you don't, I apologize. Um, and, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because clearly YouTube, as I said before, does not really give a crap about subscriptions anymore. So hit that notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I hit, you know, whenever I uh, post new videos. Um, but anyway, Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode or this season of Walking Dead with me. Uh, like I said, this is my first time ever getting through a series uh, with you guys online. Like I said, I just started to doing this, um, and uh, you know, like I said, I just started doing my reaction videos. So thank you guys. We cruise past 700 subscribers, and we're gonna keep going. And I hope to get to a thousand very soon, so I can start getting paid for this, and I can make more content and. Yeah, we can knock more of this out. So, anyways, uh, spread the word. Share me on Facebook. Share, share me on Instagram. Whatever you guys want to do, just help me out so I can, you know, share the love. But, anyways, I love you guys, and you guys have a great day. Peace. <laughs>